Hey friends, I'm sorry for the fan. Summer's here with a vengeance. Uh, let me get you up here for a minute. I wanted to go over a couple of things. We've got handles and cabinets going this week at the same time. The shop's still a mess, so the cabinet shop went out in the parking lot. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about briefly is um, handle restoration um, as it pertains to the finishes on your handle on your wood and and some other stuff um, the other stuff being uh, this this beast right here let me get down and show you now this was out of my dad's dental lab he was a dentist and this is a Baldor it's a slow speed grinder actually it's a dental lathe it's a polishing lathe and it's got two different speeds it's got high and low uh, one is 1725 and the other one is about 3500 rpms and if you're wanting to do some uh, really nifty restoration uh, it's really worth your uh, thought process to get and sharpening let me include that it's really uh, worth your while to pick up a slow speed uh, grinder or a bench grinder. I have one that's made in Taiwan. I paid about a hundred bucks for it and it, it doesn't ha uh, have a, a switch. Um, I think Delta makes one with the variable speed. So does Shop Fox. The Shop Fox is a little more expensive and so is the Delta, but you can actually uh, achieve the 3500 and the 1700 and everywhere in between but um, so I'm, I'm restoring three ball peen hammers that I got for about 15 bucks and I uh, took the rust off the ball and the and the rust off of the face of the hammer and left the patina on the side these were these were really gross um, I scraped the handles with the razor blade Here's the other one. Here's the other one. Um, because I just did, they were dark and uh, not sure what these went through, but somebody, the, the one over here and then the larger one that I had to remove the handle on, I had to take the handle completely off because it was wrecked. Somebody did some borderline abuse. The, the faces of the hammers, you can still see some marks and stuff, but I kind of left. I left some of the scratches in and then I went to 800 on it and it really it did a pretty nice job good enough for me um, so I'm just working these guys out on the uh, on the buffer what I've got is a cloth wheel I have a clean one and I have uh, some jewelers rouge I think this is fine I don't think it's extra fine uh, for my purposes with chisels and and whatnot, um, it's perfectly fine. And uh, also for polishing metal, rubbing compound, the Meguiar's rubbing compound is really great stuff. You can put a, uh, they make a, a foam disc type of uh, attachment that you can put on a drill and and you can really get stuff to a high polish with that. So I'm just kind of farting around with this, finishing these up and we're not looking too bad here. So we're coming around the horn on this. Fortunately the balls on these ball peen hammers were in good shape. They weren't abused horribly. But should you drive a nail with your ball peen hammer? No, 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 no. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay. So, um, we scraped. We did not sand. Um, scape, scraped very carefully with the razor blade and then I have a set of cabinet scrapers that I used on it and did a fine finish on it. They're all hickory. Uh, yep, that's hickory. 
And then they have boiled linseed oil on them because that's what I have here at, at the shop. If it was at home in the bunker, it would be uh, uh, tongue oil, 100% tongue oil. Just a, little, just a little note about tongue oil. Watco, or Watka, however you choose to pronounce it, uh, makes a tongue oil, but it is not 100% tongue oil. It has dryers in it, and I do believe it has uh, varnish in it. And it does not give you this kind of finish. You'll put one coat on it, and you'll be okay with it, and then you'll put another coat on it, and it'll have a definite sheen to it. Um, and I learned that the hard way. I had to scrape it all off and start over. I was doing a gun stock. Um, so, anyway, we've got boiled linseed oil on this. Uh, some people like to use raw because it's more natural. It doesn't have the dryers and whatnot that boiled linseed oil has in it. Um, some people just don't want that touching their hands. I have to say, I do like, I, I prefer, and it's just me, it's your personal preference too. Don't let anyone go, oh, this is better than that, that's better than this. So we've got our boiled linseed oil on our handles. And I was reading in a new Axe book, which I will, uh, I'm going to do a little segment on because it's a really good book. And I think if you're into Axes, everyone should have a copy. It's, it's been recently uh, put out. Um, this guy is really good and it's very, very informative. There was a new Axe book that came out last year about fall, and it was pretty good, but it was more pictures and about collecting, and it didn't get into the principles and things, the knowledge that guide has, has guided and is guiding Axis. So it's, it's well worth your time. Anyway, I will stop. Getting off on a tangent. I think you're going to like this next step on this handle. Um, it's definitely worth a try to see if it's for you. I'm going to keep. I'm going to put it on some axes and see how it goes. It's going to make you happy, I think, because it. When I first tried it, I have another hammer sitting over there that I I did it too, and I'm really liking it. Um, and everybody has their own stuff. Some people like Axe Wax. Um, Killinger has his uh, snake juice and there's all kinds. I think Micah with Hildry Restorations has a has a oil mix. Um, there's all kinds of stuff out there. And I tell you what though, I think this is really cool and it's old school and I think you're gonna like it. What does it involve? Put your Watka, put your boiled linseed oil and put your raw linseed oil on it Put your tongue oil on it. Except don't put vodka tongue oil on it. You'll be unhappy. When that's dry, get yourself some beeswax. Now, I can't believe that I didn't really think of this until I read it, but you know, books have their place, right? 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 So I'm just lightly rubbing this guy down, getting the end grain. Ooh, look at that grain. That's pretty. Just I'm just kind of lightly covering it. We're not we're not gooping it all over the place. Now I'm just going to kind of feel where I missed. There's a spot. Let's get this down so we can see what we're doing. I'm just uh, just doing the thing. <laughs> this is cool. Take the other one. So, oh, uh, we got our beeswax, I believe. Yep, our beeswax is on our handles. Now, come with me. 
then I'll give you while these are while these are cooking because we're gonna we're gonna sit these guys are you still rolling oh dear good we're gonna sit these guys out in the sun because it's like 95 degrees today I mean it's a smoker today um, I'm not looking forward to getting back to work but I think especially on this metal table we're going to just set those guys out in the sun and we're just going to let that beeswax kind of percolate and we'll set them up like this. They're already looking cool. So anyway, so we're, here's what's happening this week. And probably for the next two or three months, we have a giant cabinet order. Anyway, I think our handles are done cooking. Oh yeah, they're warm enough. So anyway, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope your Monday's going well. Um, I posted a short three times. I think I got finally got it right on the third time. Now, this is pretty awesome. So it is very, very tacky. You could probably leave it out in the sun more um, or you could probably take your heat gun or a hair dryer or whatever, um, but I'm just kind of smearing it around. What the heck is that? So anyway, now if you don't have, if you, if you don't have, you can get for the 5 8 Arbor, they make a, they make a rag buffing wheel. Here it is. Um, I think there's, you know, you, it just depends. There's a series of uh, reducers and whatnot. You just have to kind of figure that out. And, get it. and you know what? I didn't even think. I think a clean t-shirt is going to work just as well. Look at that. So you really... My wife's going to kill me. Just a clean white t-shirt and you're going to be good to go. But... So you just kind of polish it up. Not too bad. That's not a high gloss finish, but I tell you, this feels amazing. And it, you know, it's all, like I said, it's all personal preference, but I think I really like this. And the reason I like it is the function. When you get outside, and if you just have a regular finish on your axe handle, now I can lean. Um, that's fine. And a lot of people don't have any issues. What I like about this is, especially in the summer, when your hands are super sweaty and you're dirty, this wax gets soft. And the gripping on this is phenomenal. Yes, you get a little uh, wax on your hands, so your hands are probably going to get twice as dirty as they normally would, but I mean, the grip is, is fantastic. Um, like I said, and some, some of you may just be like, that's ridiculous. But uh, anyway, I'm going to polish this third one up, and uh, I will... Uh, Catch you guys uh, soon. I really appreciate everyone in the comments. You guys are awesome folks. Um, everybody, you know what's been crazy is there's a lot of folks reaching out, sending me handles. That, that just is awesome. Oh yeah, this one's coming out great. You have to see this. 
this is on a small wheel. You know what, I think we're gonna put the big wheel on. Who remembers big wheels? Yeah, it's a little nicer. We may have to bring that one back. Again, handle finish is such a personal thing. I mean, building an axe is such a personal thing. Oh, now you're talking. So maintenance on this puppy. What do you do? Well, I tell you what you could do. Get a blow dryer, not a heat gun. I would not get a heat gun. Too hot, unless it has a low setting. If it's adjustable, that might be a good idea, and then you'd have to kind of play with it to uh, figure out what the setting is, but you definitely don't want to be too hot. But if you take this on maybe on a piece of steel and sit it down with some paper towels and heat up the handle, then you can absorb all the, if, you know, cause it's gonna, it's gonna get dirt, it's gonna get black. Um, but uh, do that and use the paper towel to absorb the wax. Um, if you have to scrape it with the razor blade gently Scrape the remaining, I would not sand. There's no need to. Um, you could hit it with denatured alcohol if you wanted to. Uh, and then um, re-oil it. And then re-wax it. The thing that I like, I can't wait to put this on an axe. I have not put it on an axe yet. but I can't wait to go get all sweaty and gross and see how the handle performs. Because I was using these outside a little while ago and they were, they, were, they were actually just awesome. I was using one of them, I wasn't using both, all of them for tapping a template. Anyway, more on the way. Peaceful coexistence, axe handles and cabinets. That's what we're that's what we're shooting for. <laughs> anyway, take care, everybody.